thank you, sir, for giving me opportunity to to participate in this resolution. So, I rise to oppose this resolution as move three. Our colleague, Sri Nongrum, for various reasons and for various factors. So this is a very sensitive and a very complicated topic to debate and discuss. So today we may be able to debate and discuss, and it will be very, very sensitive to decide. Sir, through you, Mr. Speaker, sir, I would like to question everybody in this August House and the people of the entire state. We should not question the wisdom of our leaders of the past. And we should not give the rooms to question on this, this reservation policy of our state. It is, as our member from uh, Muslim has stated, it is very unique and very special. And this is a landmark and a, and a very landmark decision of our leaders of the past. It is glorious, sir. We are having the Garo, the Kasi Zaintia. We are having indigenous people of the state. We are getting 80% 80 reservation in our in the job reservation policy of our state. Therefore, sir, I think we understand that we should not give room to question on this policy. So once upon a time, that Captain Sama was in the meeting at Siju. And he was, as my grandfather told me, as I was not even born at the time. So Captain Sama was narrating how this trouble Trouble state come into existence. How Captain Sangma resigned from the tribal, I mean tribal minister in the government of Assam in 19 in, in 1960 in 19 in 1963. Sir, after narration and after after listening to the speech of Lord Captain Sangma, uh, my grandfather has asked him as he was locally known as Kudal, because Captain Sangma's mouth was too big, therefore his, his nickname was Kudal. So he asked him in Atong, Kudal, Atachiro, Atakna Bakmarao Skotong Song Tanja. The meaning is, Mr. Sangma, you are the finest father of our state. And you're the leader of this state, and you're the chief minister today, and you have led from the front and till the end, from the beginning till the end, and now you are standing as a chief minister of our state, Meghalaya, and you are Emily from Siju, and Bakmara is your birthplace. Why not make Bakmara as a state capital? Captain Sangma smiled, and he said, "I could have been." Had Captain Sangma done Bakman as a state capital today, the story might have been different. I would have been on the floor of Ba Ba Hadalbert Nongru. I would have been moving this resolution, and somebody might have been opposing this resolution. Sir, we are glad today our forefather leaders, our leaders of the past, has met this silo as a state capital. And so, because of this landmark decision of our leaders, behind me in the gallery, there are many glorious officers behind me is there. Have there have been no no reservation policy today, sir? We would have been under we would have been under the governance of somebody during the British rule, sir. When the government of India was under British rule. The, uh, the, our missionary, the British government, to protect our tribal people from, from, uh, from all kinds of uh, things, 
to protect our identity, to protect our, our culture, the ILP has been introduced to protect our people from plain people. So, when a state came into ex existence, had our grandfather and our leader of the first has not enacted this policy, our people would not have been in the service as of today, sir. Sir, the history says, after three years of the, of the enactment of district council in the state of Meghalaya, the first conference for the movement of tribal state from Assam, the first conference was held on the 3rd June in 1954 at Dura. Where many leaders from Kasi Janta Hills, Garu Hills, Mizo Hills, North Kachi Hills, Autonomous District Council has been attended and held a meeting for four days. And from then on, the former state movement demands has been started till 1972. Till 1972. Sir, we are grateful today for our leaders like Bibelingo. Nicholas Roy, our former MPs, and many leaders of the past. Sir. Therefore, today I will still reiterate again, we should not question the wisdom of our leaders of the past, who have, by knowing with vision, this policy has been enacted and has been landmark and have been led for us. So having come back to the subject, sir, I'm fortunate, sir, today to be the indigenous son of this soil, of this state. So, this reservation policy was enacted based on the clause 4 of the Constitution, of the six, Article 16 of the Constitution of India, sir, to uplift the un, unprivileged, underprivileged backward people of the society. And there is a provision in the Constitution, Constitution of India, sir. And because there is, because of this reservation, we have many of our IAS officials from our state. Not because of state, from the central reservation policy under UPSC, sir. So, only two weeks back, the items there was media item in the paper where the victims, where the father of a son who have lost in the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war in, in the Ukraine, he was a medical student from India. He has been killed in the Ukraine. What is it? Because of the Japanese policy, even my son got 97% in, in the SSLC exam, I mean in the uh, higher secondary school living certificate. My son did not get admission and he had to go, went abroad in the Ukraine and the, finally we have lost our son. Sir, there are many community, there are many groups who are demanding to do away with all kinds of reservation across the countries. Do we want that same pitch? No, sir. I will never allow, and I will never go with that line, sir, because of, because of reservation. We are standing tall and proudly, proudly today. Sir, if we, if we, uh, there was a one leading NGOs, some has been done, assess, assess thoroughly, the last 50 years. Despite 40% reservation has been kept for Garu community. So because of many factors, our people, our boys and girls from, from my community, they, are, they could not fill the reserve seat in many of the occasions. If you see the data, it is statistic. There will be thousands backlog vacancy where our community could not be filled up that, that vacancy, sir. So I'm happy and
And I'm glad today, our brother and sister from Kassia Jainte community, they are far better than our Garo community. And you people are competing in the national level and doing well. And I wish our brother and sister of this community to go well, and we will follow you. Therefore, sir, sometimes if we talk about reservation, we always question why we, why we always look for reservation, reservation, and reservation. Sir, if you are confident in ourselves, go to national level and compete and display your talents and go with the merit. But for our brother and sister who need to be uplift, we need this reservation, sir. Sir, I would uh, reiterate that this reservation policy should be continued. Because if we, if we look at the national levels, in, the, in, the, in 1950, when the Constitution was enacted, the STSC reservation was fixed only for 10 years. <clears throat> but even after 70 years of our, of our Indian independence. Honourable Member, please take your seat.